Hi folks, I'm Chris Jansen from Harcourt Sargent and today I'm here on behalf of Photobase's TV Back to Basics series. Look, I find getting on mainstream portals, which we need, definitely drives a high volume of traffic, but with social media content, the general investment that a vendor will need on vendor paid advertising is around $20 to $30 for us to get the traction that we need and the engagement with social media. We can get really specific around age demographics, location, uh, consumer behaviours. We can get more specific than putting an ad on real estate or domain.com.au. Um, because when we go on those mainstream media portals, we don't know who the buyer is that we're likely to meet, whereas we can see specific social media reports that show us the engagement, the age parameters, the location of the consumers and their behaviours with the social media campaign. Well, statistics um, suggest, and I'm guilty of this, that people will check their social media platforms in excess of 40 times per day. And the reality is, when I'm looking to buy a property, I might look at realestate.com, or domain.com or the local portals maybe two to three times a day for that new release property. So you're just simply getting more people looking at that channel more so with social media content than the other portals. Yeah, I just find that um, you know you get to actually comment back to people that are inquiring on a property or commenting on a particular property. You get personal messages coming through. I'm finding people will still ring you, but actually more so today, people feel more comfortable in private messaging you over even an email inquiry. So I'm finding I get a lot of connectivity with consumers and buyers just through direct messaging on social media platforms. 